Well, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, welcome to this video. Um, uh, we This is my 10,000 subscriber Q&A video. We hit 10K, as you know, clearly. And guys, thank you again for all the love and support. I'm gonna show you uh, some of the comments of people that, you know, congratulated me. So that was very lovely and fantastic. I'm actually recording up a new camera right now, as you can see. We'll see its quality, it's actually quite nice. That is my bed where no magic happens. And uh, as, if you guys are a long time viewer, you know what my background, OG background was. Bunch of stuff. Yeah, but that's that's my hobby. That's my that's one of my hobbies. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're here. We're here. For those of you that commented on my post, I'll be answering all of the questions. There was quite a few. Some of them are kind of intertwined with each other slightly, so I'll make it a little bit easier. But yeah, thank you guys for anyone that left a comment. And if this video does really well, and if you guys want to see another Q and A video, I will definitely do another one in the future. All right, so I'm gonna start from. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I'm gonna start from the start with all these questions. First one is, when are you going to stop YouTube and watch your greatest gaming moment in SAR and in general? Ah, uh, okay. When am I going to stop YouTube? I'll start with that. I don't, I don't wanna stop YouTube. In the past, I definitely did, but um, I didn't know what I was doing. At that time, I didn't know what I wanted. I had other focuses at the time, trying to get into college, you know, that was my focus, so I stopped to stop YouTube for quite a few years. I started in 2014 or so, I think. Um, it's been a long time, it's been a long time. <laughs> Greatest gaming moment in SAR. Um, for those of you who've seen this video, if you don't know what SAR means, it's Super Animal Real. it's a different game. Uh, I would say one of the- <laughs> Charlie, shut your face! Ed! Excuse me. Greatest moment in SAR, I'd say, would be when I was making my 100th video for the game and for the content that I was creating. I had a lot of fun doing that, you know, showcasing all the videos that I made, for sure, but I would also say almost, almost every, every live stream that I've done, because I love the community that I've built, I love playing with all of you guys, even if you're new, even if you show up for one day or whatever. I enjoy every second of streaming a lot, which is why if you see that some of my videos have definitely cut bat back, it's because the time that I have, I'm trying to put a lot of it into streaming and then all my other stuff in life, it's just, it's hard doing so many things and wrapping everything together. Next one uh, by, I don't know how to say it, Aquari the Fairy says, how old is Charlie? Charlie is, is my dog, he is about ooh, six years, we got him in 2017, I believe, so yeah, around six years to... Something like that. Yep. Sunset Wave says, were you born in Australia? You can't tell. You can't tell, huh? Huh? Yes, I was born in Australia. That is where I'm from. If you guys don't know that already. <laughs> Walter say, uh, says, can you play controller? All I do is play controller. Right here, this is my controller. It's plugged in right now. Let me unplug it. This is what my controller looks like. Yes, I'm a freak. It's a scuff controller. So uh, scuff, you know, sponsor me, please. That'll be great. Uh, Shiny Books 51 says, "Why did you decide to do YouTube just for fun, or did you have a big goal?" I think with everything that someone wants to start, you always have a big goal. Whether it's a sport you play, it's like, well, I have a goal. I have an expectation of where I want to be, where I want to get to. But clearly, you have to put in the time and the effort, and so much more. But I started YouTube because. It was just a passion of mine. I loved watching content creators at the time back in 2000 and honestly 10 when it really kind of started and kicked off with YouTubers and people creating content. My first inspiration was definitely Ali A. <laughs> I was a big Ali A fan when I was younger for sure. Uh, say PewDiePie of course, all the other top ones, Merc music I loved, but Ali A actually was my first inspiration when it came to wanting to make content. I loved playing video games at the same time. I thought I was good at it. I know I was young. I was like, 
I want to make I want to make videos and my first few videos were terrible of course <laughs> maybe maybe in another video we can actually go back and see what they look like and actually see how I progressed from day one to where I am now this has been my journey at least I, everyone's journey is different of course I had a big goal everyone when they're young when they want to start on YouTube they have they want they want to be famous right they want to be big they want to be the best and that was my mentality and I that's all I focused on so I was thinking oh maybe I'd grow big overnight that is just not true at all so at a time when I did quit YouTube I was very upset because I was making videos and videos and videos however they were terrible they meant they were nothing <laughs> I mean that's that's my honest truth when I look back at myself if I would tell if I could you know see myself you know or go back in time and see myself I'll tell my I'll tell them you know the passion was good but the the quality was pretty bad but you know that's experience I was learning from what I didn't know already I started from nothing everyone starts from nothing and that's how they grow and build right and it's like literally almost 10 years ago now when I started YouTube and I, it's taken me this long to hit 10,000 subscribers however people can get that maybe in a year or less or whatever people are different and they're growing journeys this is my journey this is uh again what it's what it's doing but I've loved every second of it for sure in the meantime it's still just for fun of course I still have goals I still want to grow I still want to you know be big of course those are dreams but at the time at this time I can't I can't rely on that I just have to rely on that it's always been a hobby for me and I love every second uh, doing it and if, if I get big one day then That'll be, I wouldn't know how to explain that, but that's that's a big if, right? Gaming One says, when is my birthday? Sorry if that's a little personal. Uh, birthday, it's in August. It's not, it's fine. This, this video is a personal video. And uh, since you want to know the date, it's the 23rd. <laughs> the 23rd of August, that is what it is. Riley R says, how many emotes inside do I have? I'm not gonna answer that aspect, but says, what do I do for a living? So, I'm literally just finishing off college. As of recording this video right now, I probably have two to three weeks left. I can't wait to be done. Once that's done, I can have so much more focus in my other things that I wanna do, especially with YouTube or work, whatever. So yeah, right now I'm working full time as well, as well as trying to stream, doing another secret project, which is uh, later to come. <laughs> when I get that completed, I wanna, I'll, ex I'll explain what that is, but I don't wanna say it now. That's, that's for the future, okay? <laughs> so, what do I do for a living? As, you, as we know, I definitely have a lot of my free time within streaming and gaming. I love it. That is always gonna be me. That is always going to be me. I'm not looking to leave YouTube or leave streaming. I couldn't care less if I have one viewer, zero viewers, or or, or whatever. It's that's not the whole point of streaming for me. Okay, it's not. But yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pleco said two things. He said, "Are there any popular gamers you look up to, and what or who inspired you to start streaming?" So I kind of answered that slightly before. Ali A was probably the first person that inspired me. I loved his content. I loved Call of Duty, and that's what he did. And he was always happy positive he was always a family friendly channel which is why where i kind of get that aspect in where you know that audience is you know bigger than anything but the stream is or game is that i look up to right now number one as you guys can tell is dr disrespect he's just i don't know he's different he's different from every other streamer gamer that i've seen what he says I don't think he's disrespectful at all. It's just that's just his name. He does so much more than than game. He's an entertainer for sure, and that's what he does. That's what he loves. 
Doesn't matter if he's the best, which of course, my man, the two time, if you know, he is, he is the best, of course. But it's, it's how he goes about it, how he responds with the community, how he connects with his community every single time, how he has his goals. He's creating a game right now as well. Uh, he, he's doing many things. He's definitely my biggest inspiration right now. And I always love watching him when I can get to watch him. But um, no, he's... Uh, He's the one I love most for sure watching and uh, I know that he's definitely inspired many other streamers and gamers as well. I would say that's that's my inspiration right now for sure. Say when I was younger it was Ali A, now it's Dr. Disrespect. I know the community he plays with say Ninja, Jack Courage and um, Tim the Tapman. They're all great, they're all up there, they have a bunch of fun. I love watching him play with other people and connecting with other people. And, but to me, he's just, he's different. Different in the best kind of way. As you can see, I've shown him this guy on stream a few times before. This is what he looks like. You can see the resemblance, no. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Nothing else here says, what is my favorite color? Uh, that is clearly blue. I love blue, it's my logo, it's my chair, it's, uh, it's always been blue, that is not gonna change. That is not gonna change. It's Rosie says, what is my favorite place in the world? Um, great question, I've never, that's never been a big thought for me, but I'd have to say it is my comfort zone, and that is right here. Being with my family, of course, but my comfort zone, my room, because that's where I do everything, that's where I make my videos, that's where I stream, that's where everything around me is you know, it makes me feel comfortable. Like when I talk about my Funko Pops, I collect the ones that I loved when I was growing up as a younger kid, for sure. Like the TV shows I'd watch, the movies I'd watch, that is, that's what that all resembles me of, of like some of my best memories and the things that I loved and enjoyed. So I like to surround myself with only good things. Bonk says, why Mighty Maca? Uh, I don't know. It's uh, my first shoes name ever. It was from Club Penguin. It was called Jack Mac 1023. And um, that was my first game attack within that. And then on PlayStation as well. But I moved into Mighty Maca just because I, it had a nice ring to it, does it not? And uh, Mac kind of resembles the a word within my last name, which I won't say at this <laughs> at this time. But um, no, it just it just worked. It just worked. I like the sound of uh, alliteration names where it's like two words with the same first letter, like say Ali A, for example. Me, Mighty Maca. It's not that I copied. It just it has a nice ring to it. Say Merc Music. Anything with two words, it just has a nice, nice thing. Doctor, disrespect. See, there you go. It's, it's, it's just a thing. It's just a thing. Riley R also says, when did I first start gaming in general and what game and what console? So, for me, my first gaming device was a Nintendo DS Lite. Um, I had, a, had the light blue one. Loved it. The games I played, every single Mario game you can think of that was released on that game. I love Mario, so when they, when they released the Super Mario movie, big fan. I was so excited for that because Mario was literally my childhood. I would play every single Mario game now. I played it from the Nintendo, the 3DS, all the way up, Nintendo Switch, on the Wii, on the Wii U. Like, I played every single Mario game that I could definitely get my hands on. That's, uh, that is never going to go away from me. That is... Uh, always always one of the best if someone said cold person says uh, why do I not stream on twitch anymore twitch I just I have said it in stream I think it's a very saturated um, platform and <laughs> another thing that's has nothing to do with me but dr. disrespect my favorite streamer had issues with twitch 
and he, he says like the purple snake platform uh just that always kind of stuck with me and then with all the issues that twitch has had i'm like i'm not gonna not gonna bother going with it and it's anytime i really streamed it's a uh, never did much for me honestly but um which is why i love youtube and i'll always stick with youtube i think samu spectro patronum says the best moment for me dude this is such a broad question i don't have i don't have the best <laughs> like one specific best moment it's that's very hard to answer um let's say the best moment for me and i'm going to relate it to youtube for sure best moment was hitting my first 100 subscribers that was the one of the greatest feelings and moments for me especially being young i loved it and that, like, I, I just wanted to keep going. I wanted to keep going from 100. I wanted to hit 1,000. I wanted to hit 2,000. I wanted to hit 10,000, like, and then a million. <laughs> so that was definitely a very great feeling for sure, for sure. And I think if any of you guys starting out on YouTube or whatever platform that you guys are wanting to create content on, you guys will know what that feeling is when you hit it or if you've already hit it you know what i'm talking about maya says bows to the king of sa <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> bong says what is my overall setup hardware software etc so i want to have that in a separate video but essentially i have three monitors here one for my gaming which is what my camera's sitting on two uh, monitor there monitor there which is like that's connected to my pc which is an alienware computer and I have my PS5 down beneath my desk. Got a mic on my desk as well. Got all, all things. But uh, I'll save that for another video. And you guys know that I have a green screen now, so yes. All right, Cog says, have you ever thought of collabing with Twitch streamers other than Skills? If you don't know Skills, he's one of my buddies. He streams on Twitch for sure. We met playing the same game of Super Animal Royale. And... Uh, I don't know, it's uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird how it happened. We kind of found each other, like, I heard that he wanted to play with me, and I knew he was good. I saw his streams for a little bit, he seemed like a genuine person, and fun guy, and good gamer for sure, so I was like, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Um, I haven't really had the same uh, feeling with anyone else, I don't mean to say that, you know, quite, like, you know, meanly or anything but i'm very i'm definitely a busy person and at that time it kind of just happened i wasn't working at the time as well i didn't like i had a lot more free time now it's very hard and uh i don't know at this point with my youtube it's it's difficult with who i want to collab with but the thing is i with what i do with my community anyone can collab with me in any way that they want i do so much with my community with the streams playing with them all and as you guys know with saturdays i have my own championship matches where anyone can literally join from the custom lobbies that i create we have a bunch of fun so it's not that like i need to reach out to people people can just come in if they want and do whatever they would like to do my community that i built is where i want everyone to come into a fun, safe environment where everyone respects each other for sure. So, yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's, <laughs> there, there needs to be more thought with that question. Anyways, guys, I essentially answered every single question, or most of them. Some of them weren't really questions for me to answer. But, uh, yeah, that is, that's the end of this video. If you guys definitely enjoyed and want to see more, videos like this make sure to smash that like button you know subscribe let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions maybe i'll make another one Ho hoping this does decently well i just want to say again and i've said it in streams thank you to all of you that have supported me whether you were day one one when i was like nothing to a thousand subscribers continue to two thousand three thousand I know that many people have come and gone, which is going to be a common thing with growing. 
I wish everyone the best that has definitely supported me from my past till now within YouTube. It's a uh, the positivity and the love that I've definitely received has definitely kept me going for sure, which is why I love streaming so much. And uh, it's why I don't think I want to go away. It's just such a just such a fun environment for me to be in, especially stressful times. What I'll do is I'll just be like, you know, I want to stream. And that's that's like this is this is my escape in a way for having so much fun. And I know it's an escape for you guys as well. I know that. If I told my my younger self now that I that you will hit 10,000 subscribers, he may have believed it because he's he was cocky. <laughs> but um, no, definitely at a time when I definitely stopped YouTube, I would not have believed it. And I'm very grateful, and I know it's definitely definitely a milestone that many people don't hit. So I'm very, very blessed and grateful and I will uh, continue making content. So again, guys, thank you for all the love and, su and support. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one and goodbye. Yeah, 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 yeah